right, folks. <clears throat> this is a swarm that moved in to this nuke, okay, this past Saturday, three days ago. I was out of town, and uh, I got a lawn guy that I've been using since my lawnmower. Uh, that's a whole other story, but uh, anyway, for the time being, I got a lawn guy, and he called me Saturday evening. They said, hey, man, you got uh, some bees checking out this box. Well, let me back up. He said, man, you got bees from one end, of the, end to the other on your carport. And uh, I said, uh, they checking out that nuke box, right? <laughs> he said, I don't know. I'm not getting close enough to them to find out. So uh, I had seen bees checking this box out, but I don't know if they were robbing the propolis or not. I have no beehives here, okay? None. So over the years, this is the fourth swarm that just moved into my woodware. We got a lot of bees down here, folks. So what's uh, who makes a good swarm trap? A hive that's had bees in it before. So there's some drawn comb in here. There's uh, you know. And propolis and things like that and uh, that attracted this swarm so I have not gone in there to, to check on them since I've been back but uh, the first day let's see we got back Sunday and um, they were going in and out but I didn't see any pollen so yesterday they were bringing in pollen so we're gonna do a little inspection and um, tomorrow uh, evening they're gonna go to the bee yard so I'm gonna give them just for good measure a little puff of smoke. All right, let's go in and see what's going on. All right, here's a little lesson we can address, okay? When you're moving hives, okay, when you get them to the new location, you want to check them the next day or that evening or whatever to make sure your frames are all touching each other. Obviously, I was out of town. I didn't put these bees in here. I knew I was going to check them soon, and that's what we're doing. And as you can see, okay, these frames are apart, and they build comb right in between them. So check that out. So what we can do now, uh, we didn't let it get to uh, in an advanced stage, you know, where they they literally built this comb all the way down and made a mess of things. And it's got that little bit, kind of looks like your tongue. <laughs> anyway, so what we'll do now, we'll go in. So let's pull some frames and uh, see what we got in here. I imagine the, the queen's probably laying. So we got a frame in here that doesn't have anything on it. This one's got foundation. Good bit of bees. Nothing on that side. All right. So what we'll do is we want to get rid of this too. We, we don't want them to continue with that, okay? Shake that off there. Put that aside. All right. All right. So let, let's uh, let me go ahead and put my eagle eye glasses on so I can see if we are. Uh, I can spot eggs. I'm pretty sure we're gonna. We'll be able to spot eggs. All right. Let's see. See a good bit of honey. Now you know uh, honey bees have two stomachs. If you didn't know that, when they swarm, they'll ingest honey in their honey stomach and they'll bring that to the new site so they can start building comb. So a lot of this stuff you know they probably brought with them and they built a little bit of comb with. You'd be surprised how much honey they can bring with them. Okay? I know this and I learned it the hard way. Okay folks? I had a swarm that I had housed in a uh, one of those cardboard nukes and I thought that it was plenty ventilated enough and uh, it, it was warm out, and I was going to move it to my bee yard uh, the following morning. And um, so, I, you know, I had the, the plug in, and uh, they had the little holes around the plugs on both ends, but apparently it was not enough ventilation, and they fried, okay? 
and uh, not happy to admit it, but you know, things happen. So you learn from your mistakes. Anyway, long story short, when I took the top off and pulled the frames out, I'm not kidding you folks. Now this was a swarm that was, it was a good sized swarm. You know, I can't remember exactly how big it was, but I'm going to say it was probably at least a three pound swarm. So it was like a package of bees. There was literally a half an inch of honey on the bottom board, from one end to the other, that they had regurgitated. And that kind of blew my mind, you know. I didn't feed them or anything. That was honey that they had brought with them. They regurgitated that honey because they got stressed, they got hot. And uh, that, that, that was pretty amazing. It's something I'll never forget. I wouldn't have learned that lesson if that wouldn't have happened, okay? So if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have uh, known that. Uh, that they can, you know, they bring that much honey in their honey stomachs. All right, so let's go ahead and see, pull this next frame. So this, this swarm here basically is like uh, maybe two and a half frames of bees, folks. So it's, it's not a real big swarm. All right, this is the one we could find the queen on, and uh, I'm already seeing, I think there's gonna be eggs in there. Let me see if we can find her real quick. Well, she could be on the next one. Yeah, I'm seeing eggs. Now, what's really neat about black foundation, okay, and this is waxed black uh, pier car, I believe. And, um, the, the little eggs, you know, they're white. They're about a fifth of a size of a grain of uh, rice. And they just bounce right off of those, uh, that black foundation, folks. Let me show you. Oh, there's our queen. There she is, right there. There she is, kind of a typical, typical Italian looking queen. Okay. And, uh, let's see if we can uh, show you some eggs. See those eggs? All right. Let's see if we can find her again. Uh, there you go, Amy. There she is. Nice looking little queen. She's searching those cells. She will not lay an egg if uh, that cell is not suitable. Okay? Those, those are the workers, they have to clean those cells up, polish it nice and smooth, or she will not lay an egg in the cell. Look, she just tried. She just put her butt in there. All right, All right my hand's getting tired, folks, so I'm gonna. Oh. All right, so look, for, for this little inspection here, we don't really need to go any further unless you really wanted to, but uh, you know, we found the queen, we, we see eggs, they've, they've drawn out comb, so they're doing fine. So we, we really don't need to do, do any more. I will pull the next frame just for the heck of it. Look how they bunched up. <laughs> All right, so when you put your, your frames back in, okay, you wanna go look, uh, slowly, okay? You don't want to squinch anybody, especially your queen. Let's just pull that next frame out, see what that's looking like. Oh, it's, it's heavier than that last one. Wow. Yeah, nothing but honey, a little pollen. Beautiful. Well, this was a frame of drawn film, I'll tell you that. Yeah. All right, well, let's put this back. They'll go to the bee yard tomorrow. All right. Oh, I wish I could smell this right now. The smell of a beehive. It just, it's a very unique odor. It smells a little like, like power, a little bit honey. Once you smell that odor, you'll never forget it again. And, um, when you're around a beehive or a bee yard, you, you know, you, you smell that the familiar smell. <laughs> uh, 
All right. So this is a six frame nuke. It's got some extra room on the end, so we need to go ahead and uh, make sure that our frames are touching. All right. So there you, there you have it. See how the, the frames are touching and we're observing proper bee space so that the bees can't draw a walking comb, you know, like they did. So they didn't get very far. This one and that little piece over there. So we fixed that. Got a pretty Italian looking queen. She's laying. Let's put this back on. And then uh, that's it for now. Sure hope you all enjoyed this video. Another one from JP the B man. I hope y'all having a pleasant evening, because you know I am.